Hi, my peeps. What's up, Wagwan? Welcome back to your girl, Tiana, in the house. So, yes, and welcome back to the healthier side of things. Yes, guys. And as you see that, mm -hmm, you see them thing there? You know, see uh, something up my sleeve, something healthy, rich, and nice. Good to build your immune system. All right, guys? Yes, yes, yes. So, right there, you see I have my Irish marsh, my Jamaican sea moss, Irish marsh. All right, guys? Made all over in the Caribbean. I told you when I'm gonna make Irish marsh again, I'm gonna make it with bladder rock. All right, guys, research it. Bladder rock is super healthy, full of antioxidants. This is amazing. All right, bladder rock. After I soak this, I'm gonna add some of this to boil. So we're gonna take out some of the salt out of it. So we're gonna soak them for overnight. We're gonna wash them first. <laughs> so always I use two packs. If you have a bigger family, you can use four, five, six packs, all right? So this is how they're looking, guys. And if you, when you're making it, because it's from the sea, you will end up with some like um, salt pieces like this or, you know, whatever, shrub or grub or pieces from the sea. You want to um, clean it up a little bit, all right? You want a fresh, fresh Irish marsh. You see amount of salt tonight, guys? Wow, this all salt. Okay, so we're gonna give it a good wash. So after you give it about two to three wash, you can give it four wash. It's up to you, all right? But this is good enough for me because I'm using the running water. Look at that. All right. And you always want to catch enough water so it can cover it. I'm gonna put some lemon slice in it. You, the last time I boiled it with the lemon slice. All right, guys, you can put lime. But now I just change it up. I'm just squeezing some lemon juice in it. And this, I'm going to leave it for overnight. If you want, you can put it in the fridge. But on the counter is good enough. And then what you want to do, you just want to go ahead and cover it. So I'm going to add four cups. And then I'm going to add another two. Look at this goodness see how it rise and fluffy and come to life if you were watching the video from start you know i use two packs all right guys so i'm gonna rinse this off my goodness look at this goodness guys wow there you have it so clean and alive look at that the water is almost boiling and i have some fresh cut ginger you can do whatever you want to your irish mash but look at this guys you see how big it gets wow look at that and i'm gonna place it in here just like that and i went ahead and i add another cup of water so in total for the two packs of irish marsh i add seven cups of water the last video i did i used some lemon slice in it but because i soaked the irish marsh with the lemon slices overnight already i'm just gonna um let the ginger boil in it Three quarter way through I'm gonna add a little bit of my um, bladder rock powder and let it finish boil and this is it guys when it's on its way it's boiling 10 minutes in guys and look at it so I'm gonna let it boil way down more okay Can you see the goodness here, guys? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna add a few teaspoons of my bladder rock powder. I'm gonna put two. Because it's really strong. And you wanna mix this. I'm gonna let this cool halfway through 
I'm going to remove my ginger pieces and then I'm going to blend it. All right. It's still warm, but you have to blend it now because if you let it get um, into a gel, you can't blend it again. And this one is a little bit darker because of the bladder rock. You want to scoop it up like this. Look how thick it starts to get already, guys. All right. And you want to come over here and put it in the blender. Cover this bad boy. All right. Some people go ahead and blend it while it's raw. You can do it like that, guys, but you have to have a really powerful blender. I mean, I want my blender mash up right now, so this is the best option. All right. And then I'm going to go pure. <laughs> at that goodness pure goodness let's go before it gets too thick on us i'm gonna pour it in the big one first guys look at that wow Woo. and i'm gonna pour the rest here I'm going to let them cool down, completely cool, before you put them in the fridge. Super healthy, super food, Irish marsh, bladder rack. So, as I told you before, I will leave a link how to make the bladder rack powder, alright? And on that um, video, I have how it works, the amazing health benefits, alright? So, I'm going to tell you now a little bit of the health benefits of my Irish marsh sea moss all right original Jamaican Irish marsh type of seaweed and it is known as the amazing superfood it has almost all of the nutrients the body needs all right guys it is rich in potassium chloride which help to fight inflammation infections and it is packed with lots of vitamins minerals iron and fiber it works wonders in thyroid functions good for the digestive tract and it's fight congestion as i said before inflammation cold and flu symptoms it get rid of um mucus and phlegm in your body you know so anytime you find out so you're sick run for some irish marsh or drink it before you get sick it has lots of antibacterial and viral properties lots of fiber in it and fiber help to lower your cholesterol all right and once your cholesterol is low then your blood pressure is lower as well so it also help with obesity and it help with people who have diabetes as well help to control those problems it also detoxify the blood good detox remedy it's good for the skin as well so people who have eczema or psoriasis you can use it on your skin you can put it in your lotion or in your skin moisturizer and it's also good for your hair guys it's a good hair growth treatment so you can apply it to your conditioner or you can use it as a, a mask for your hair and also guys you know that you can use it as a face mask it's good for cleaning your pores good good old superfood irish marsh sea mask all right guys it's gonna clean and build your immune system all right guys i'll come back maybe later or tomorrow and i'll show you when it's super super firm up really it doesn't have any taste and it smells more like seawater like guys so add a little bit of flavor put a little bit of ginger a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice whatever you want just flavor up your sea mask And that's it guys, love upon me and I love upon you.